Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, my name is Brad. I'm Jazz. And we're two Aussie thrifters. Um, we've been reselling since uh, September 2017 on eBay. Uh, we thought we'd do a quick uh, haul video and let you know what we've picked up over the last week. So uh, the last week or so, we've been um, doing a lot of thrifting. We went to um, quite a few op shops over the weekend. Uh, we also went to a book sale. Um, so I'll go through some of the gear we picked up from that. Um, we've been pretty um, quick on listing a lot of this stuff. So some of this stuff we've already got up. Um, we've done a little bit of shout outs on, um, on Instagram. So you may have seen a few of these items on there, um, but I'll, I'll go through what we've got so far. So we went to the book sale on Saturday. It was just an Oxfam one. Um, most books were between one and four dollars. Um, so we got another introduction to cultural media, media studies. We sell that for about $39.95 all the time. Um, we paid four dollars for that one. So that's up and listed already. We also got this uh, marketing strategy. Um, we haven't sold this one before, um, but comps looked about $32. Um, we paid $3 on that one as well. Um, so that was a good little find. Uh, organizational behavior, um, that's about a $40 item there. Um, again, a new one for us, and um, we paid $4 for that one as well. Um, so there was, there was quite a lot of books at this, um, this sale, so we went through and just picked ones that we thought um, we'd get good returns on. We were checking um, solds, um, and this one came up pretty well, so hopefully we get a good return on that one. Uh, accounting information systems, um, there was two of these sold for $80. Um, in used conditions. So we've listed ours for a similar price. Um, again, we paid four bucks for that one. Um, reasonably good condition. Um, it's got a little bit of damage on the front cover, but we've just made sure to list that. Um, so that'll be a nice little flip. And lastly, fundamentals of performance improvement. Um, again, another one that we saw in solds um, recently. I can't remember the price on that one, but, um, but we paid about $4 on that as well. Um, so I, yeah, hopefully that one turns around pretty quickly. Uh, jeans, guys, we always love picking up jeans, um, as I've spoken about before. Um, we sort of don't mind paying up for certain brands um, between $15 and $20. Um, so we picked up two pairs of diesels. Um, they're both um, wakey. Um, I don't know if you can make that out on the tag. Um, they're a regular straight jean. Um, comps on these, they've been selling for 60 right up to 110 so um, we paid 19.95 for both pairs um, i've got another pair here as well um, minus discount so we probably paid about 17 dollars if i could get 70 out of that that would be a, an awesome little um little profit and then we also got the darker pair um, just different wash same size same everything um, good condition um, so we'll list them at the same sort of price, around that $70, $80 mark. Um, we should get that pretty easily. Uh, we found this pair of um, Pepe Jeans London. Uh, brand new with tags. Um, Kingston Jeans. Regular fit, regular waist, straight leg. Uh, we paid $16.99 um, before discount, so probably about $15. Uh, really, really nice pair of jeans. Um, I've looked at comps on these around there from 55 right up to 90. Um, so we'll probably go middle range, maybe about $75 on that. A nice pair of uh, Nordica sort of chinos. Um, they're called the Beacon Pant. Um, they're brand new with tags as well. Um, so both, both tags on there, which is quite nice. Um, we paid $15.99 um, minus that discount. So probably uh, about $14. Um, good size, um, around 33 marks. So they should go quite well. Um, Nordica is a, a good quality brand. We found this uh, Carhartt uh, Rugged Outdoor Wear. So it's just, um, Carhartt's a really good brand. Um, that, that logo there, um, just a short sleeve. It's probably a $35 item. Um, we paid about $6.50 for that one after discount. This is really cool. This is a vintage Billabong um, long sleeve. Um, maybe you can tell it's vintage. Is that tag is no longer around. Um, it's sort of like halfway between between a cotton polyester and like a denim. Um, so it's a little bit heavier than a standard sort of cotton. Um, it's quite nice. Um, it's got the nice logo there as well. Um, we paid, we did pay about $12 after discount for that, but being vintage, I reckon we'll get upwards of $49.95. So hopefully that goes quite well. This piece is really cool guys. So this is RM Williams. 
Um, it's the older style logo, which is really nice. And it's also got um, the Great Australian Outback Cattle Drive logo on the chest pocket there. Um, this was something a bit different because it's sort of a half button um, and we hadn't seen too many of that style before. So we paid about $11 after discount on that one. Um, I'm not really sure what we're gonna get on that because it's a newer item for us. We're pretty pretty happy when we found it. So maybe maybe 59 on that. Um, we'll just see how it go. I think that older style will be in good condition. Um, that's something that should go pretty easily. Uh, this is something new as well. So this is a Yamaha, um, but it's a fishing team um, long sleeve shirt. Um, so it's got the breathable vented back there. Um, sort of the lightweight material. I um, paid about $10 on that one after our discounts. Um, we've never really picked up anything up like this before, so we're not really sure what we're gonna get. Um, but I'm gonna shoot for sort of 49 and just see what happens. Um, it's a nice item. A Yamaha is you know, a well-known brand, so we'll give that a shot. This piece is amazing. And I'm absolutely stoked that we found this. Um, we did a little, little shout out on Instagram about this one um, because it is so cool. So it's a Castali. Um, long sleeve and it's like a thicker material so it's, it's kind of um, like we'll keep the heat in and yeah it's just amazing so it's in really good condition um, it's a pro team um, new balance on the sleeve there as well so uh, that item there I think we paid $12 for but I've actually listed this really high um, just the quality of it I've listed this over $100 I'm not really sure if we'll get 100, but I reckon we'll get very close. Um, there was another one listed for 149. Um, and the way that you can tell the quality with this is that little logo there, that little red scorpion dude, he, um, that, that indicates a good quality. Um, so keep an eye out for that guy um, when you're out. Um, it's 100% polyester, large size, um, really clean, um, really bright color. So yeah, that was an awesome find that one. Now I've got a couple of items here that we picked up in a local haul. So two Aaron Williams um, jackets. Now this is like a drover's jacket, like a rain sort of resistant jacket. Um, now the deal that we got was two jackets and three shirts for 60 bucks. So we're really happy with that. Um, it's good quality, it's a size large. It does have a couple little marks on it, um, just on the shoulder, um, but Something like that, we've got, we listed that straight up at over $100. So um, it's a really nice item, uh, it's good quality. Um, we reckon we'll get over 100 on that. So we'll make our money back on that one item. And the other item that we got from that haul um, was this Aaron Williams. Now this is a moleskin, um, what they classify as moleskin um, material. Um, so it's got the care instructions in there as well. Um, really good quality, nice and clean. Um, there was only one tiny little stain on one of the one of the cuffs, which you can't even see it now. Um, size large as well. Um, we've got that listed well over 100, so we've actually got that listed about 180. Um, it's got the leather collar. Um, that's an awesome piece. So if we sold those two alone without the other three items, we'll be making a good couple hundred dollars profit just on that one deal. Another item here, Pendleton. So this this brand here. Um, is awesome. So this is Pendleton 100% virgin wool. Um, it's a long sleeve shirt. It's got the elbow patches, um, good condition, no holes, um, good quality. We've listed that at $79.95, I believe. Um, and we've already got a few people interested in that. So I reckon we'll sell that pretty quickly. Um, look out for Pendleton, guys. Really good quality brand. And the last item I'll show you before Jazz is going to show you a few pieces are these boots. So these uh, firefighting boots, um, they're Oliver, um, and they're brand new condition. So they didn't come with a box, but they are flawless. Um, they got the reflective panel on them. Um, they're a high quality boot. Um, we paid $30 for these. They were, were a little bit expensive, but we've listed these already at $190. Um, even if I've got an offer of 150, I've been making really good profit on those. Um, great size, um, US 11. Um, so I reckon we'll, we'll turn those over pretty quickly. Um, yeah, so that's all I'm going to show you today. Um, I'll flip over and get Jazz to show you a few items she found. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of pieces. It's my first time on YouTube, so I'm a bit nervous. First thing I'm going to show you is the Not Your Daughter's Jeans. So we find these sometimes at Savers. It seems to be one that Savers overlooks a little bit. So we get them at a fairly good price. 
think this one was $8. So it's got the NYDJ there. It's often got a design on the pockets on the back. So these ones are made in the US. They're made for kind of a more comfortable fit. They're not super skinny. Um, and we list those, what would we list those at, Brad? Probably $49.95. $49.95, not your daughter's jeans. The other one we come across a lot of, but a lot of fake, is your true religion. Um, these ones we're pretty confident in because of the stitching on the back there. So it's all nice and even. It's not close to one side. Um, you've got your beautiful tag there. On the other side, you want to check your pockets. You want to make sure that Buddha is nice and bright. If he's faded, that is no good. You want to make sure that you've got your three tags there and that you've got your really neat stitching as well. Uh, what else do you need to tell about True Religions? Um, back of the buttons as well, that's the thing. On the back of each of those, it should also have the logo. And you can feel it, they feel really good quality. Um, this has got the kind of thinner stitching, you do get the thick styles as well. And sometimes when they are faked, they look terrible. Um, I believe that Damo had a pair of these recently for, I think he sold them for 70 and he did it so we're gonna copy him. Um, something we've been trying to get into more is shoes. So don't know too many of the shoes yet. And this is one I had never heard of. So these are Jeffrey Campbell, Havana Last. They're handmade. So these ones are from California. I saw them up on the top shelf and they caught my eye. They're pretty awesome. But it was when I took them down, I could feel that they were really good quality. I had no idea what they were, so I looked up comps. Um, but you can see that they are super clean. They've probably been worn once. Always, always check the sole for shoes. So they looked really nice. Um, looked up a lot of comps on these. There are some kind of more basic designs that were going for lots of lower prices. There were some new ones up for 450. I think that's shooting pretty high, but uh, best of luck. I hope they get their 450. <laughs> Um, these ones, after a lot of research, put them up for $99.95, free postage, offers are on, so if you are a lady who's a size 37, send us an offer. That's all for today guys, thanks for watching, um, we really appreciate all the support we've had. Um, make sure you subscribe to our channel, uh, hit the like button, let us know you've enjoyed the content, and uh, hit the bell as well so you know when we're posting new stuff. Catch us later!